And so begins our second webcast or video on the Structures and Forces Unit. Uh, this lesson is designed to be a very short precursor to the activity of a web quest where students are going to have the chance to explore online different structures within different cultures. But we'll briefly talk about today some of the different structures that still exist today and how they perform some very similar functions to today's structures. So our question today is how are structures different in design and function between different cultures and across time? So if we take a look at uh, some of the outcomes today, uh, our student learning outcomes 1.2 interpret examples of variations in the design of a structure that share a common function and evaluate the effectiveness of the designs and 1.3 describe and compare example structures developed by different cultures and at different times and interpret differences in function, materials, and aesthetics. Today's structure is the Great Pyramids at Giza. Now these pyramids, I think we can all agree that when we look at them and we think of pyramids, these are the ones that we think of, the ones in Egypt. Now these ones were built somewhere between 2575 and 2150 BC. Uh, there have been about 138 other pyramids that have been discovered in Egypt, but the Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest in Egypt and one of the largest in the world. Now these were one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Uh, they are the only ones who survive modern times and we still look at these pyramids today and marvel at their construction and how large they are and how difficult it must have been to actually get them to be built at that period. So where are these pyramids? If we take a quick tour through Google Earth, uh, we'll take a look here. So here is where we are, our building, and we have to fly pretty much halfway around the world to northern Africa in Egypt. And as soon as you zoom in on Google Earth, you can see these marvelous structures immediately. They look at, like squares from the top, but we know that uh, when you look at a, a triangular prism from the top, it looks like a square. So let's go down to Street View and take a quick look here. And you can see that those are some pretty magnificent structures. Each stone placed specifically by hand all the way to the top. Uh, marvelous uh, feats of engineering, if I do say so myself. So what other structures exist and why were they built? Now, the Great Pyramids are just one example of the different structures found across all areas of the world. Every culture through time has designed and built incredible structures for various reasons. If we go into Rome, Italy, 62 BC, this bridge was built. Uh, I'm going to be terrible at saying this name, but I'll try it. The Ponte Fabrico de Roma. This is a bridge or an aqueduct. Okay, It probably was used to transport some water at some point, but it's, as you can see, a freestanding bridge that was built in 62 BC. Marvelous that it still stands and it looks as good as it does today. Some decay you can see on the right there, but still doing very, very well. The Knapp of Hawar in Ork Orkney, Scotland, built 3700 BC. These are some of the oldest human dwellings that we still have on the planet. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. You can clearly see that the walls and the door are still standing. What's not existing right now is the roof, which was probably made of more uh, earthy materials like muds and sticks and twigs, and over time would have simply decayed and fallen away. So those uh, interesting structures, first human dwellings on in that area. And then some of the most famous ones, again in Italy, this is the Colosseum. Now, the design and the function of buildings dating through history directly relates to the intended use. Many of these old buildings, like the Colosseum shown there, had very specific purposes when they were originally created. This one was a forum for events. Uh, it had gladiator events, public uh, showings, theater, all sorts of things that they used to hold in this massive Colosseum that still stands beautifully today. So students are going to use an online website uh, created by myself where you're going to research some of the most ancient and famous buildings across the planet throughout different cultures. You'll be working with a partner and each one of you completes the uh, activity page and at the end each person will be asked to provide or each team will be asked to provide some feedback in the form of a question on the bottom of the website.
Now the website looks like this. And at the top here, you can see that there is a place about Egyptian structures, Greek structures, Roman structures, Scandinavian structures, and early North American structures. And if we click on, let's say, early North American structures, it takes us to a different part. And we explore different early North American structures uh, that have existed and why they existed. So students will be able to go and do that and spend some time exploring different uh, cultural's, cultural structures around the world. And we will come back with uh, a new uh, webcast or video on the next lesson.